in every aspect of life, it's so important to be organized and very efficient with how you use your time so you could be successful. In small business, it is the same thing. Whether you're a digital creator, you're an online marketer, you're a blogger, YouTuber, whatever product online as a small business owner you produce, you wanna have an organized way of keeping track of it all and an organized way to market it all. So I have a product that I made. It's on efficiencyandorganization.com. It is called organizing tool for content creators and it's basically an excel document but i want to go over with you how you can do something like this for yourself using microsoft excel whether it's the google version or whether it's the one that's already downloaded on your computer from the office suite products it's just so easy to use excel in small business to be very organized and I kind of want to go through the process of explaining to you what you can do. If you have not seen any of my videos before, my name is Rosanna Hernandez and I am a public school administrator and a content creator, among other things. So I have a super busy life because I, like you, am a small business owner and I strive to have a lot of organization and efficiency in my life to be able to keep it all going in a very nice, successful way. And so if the content that you are hearing is helping you, if you think you want more organization and productivity and time management in your life, please be sure to subscribe for content that I have coming up that's really gonna help you. All right, so let me teach you what I do is for my content creation business. I actually have two small businesses, but this is specifically for the content creation business. So I produce videos, as you know, I have infographics that I put out and I have my articles, which I guess you can also say are blogs. And I also have products. How do I track it all? Because if you go on the website, you'll see there's like a bunch of it out there. My big thing after being in this business for two years was, you know what? I want to be able to repurpose them and republish them because the number of readers I had when I started two years ago has grown, right? And so my audience has grown. I want to make sure I re-release what I have been producing over the last two years, but I need an organized system for doing that. So I came up with the idea of cataloging. I was like, wait, let me just do an Excel sheet and it'll have some tabs in the bottom. So that way I can use my tabs for things that like I, that'll help keep me organized. So I have one for blogs, all the blogs I have, the release dates, like when I put them out there. And I also put what the best time is to re-release. If you are producing content that has to do with going back to school, you don't want to put that in November because we're all already back in school in November. You want to put that out in probably like July or August, right? Because that's when most people go back to school, whether they're kids or adults. And so that would be a good time to re-release. So basically you come up if on Pinterest, some pins and you put out or on Twitter or on Instagram, you put content or something that has to do with that blog so you can get people to read it again. For videos, it's the same concept. So I have currently about 70 or 71 videos on YouTube. That's how many I've produced. But some of them are what are called evergreen videos. That means like basically any time of the year, a person can look at it. Like I did one on um, overcoming the fear of failure, for example. That's a good one where I give like super good strategies on how you can overcome failure, the fear of failure so you can achieve more in your life. Okay, so that's a video that a person can watch anytime during the year. But I also have one that has to do with Valentine's Day. That particular one, I'm going to remarket to my audiences to watch January. But afterwards, I go through the list and I say, okay, so give me all the ones that I need to do in December, all the ones I need to do in April. So Excel does that for me. And this is the product that I'm telling you, if you go and download it from efficiencyandorganization.com, it already comes with the filter. But basically, this is how it looks. And this here right now that you're seeing, it has them all mumble jumbled, right? But now I'm going to filter 
where they're all aligned. See, I have the Aprils together and the August. And so it's so much more organized that way. All I have to do is take my December chunk, print it, and that way in December, I can make sure those items are re-released and cross them off as I go. So it's a very organized way of marketing the blogs and that way my number of followers can go, grow even more and I'm helping people in the process by educating them. So to create systems, you can come up with things like this on Excel, even like if you write them down, it'll take more time, but even on Word you can do, it's fine, whatever works for you. Or you can simply go and download what other people have done, but just create systems, create ways. That is all I have for this video and I will catch you in the next one. Please be sure to subscribe on the website and also on this YouTube channel.